So here we are at eight days old and lovely chunky pups. I know. <laughs> now the, the biggest in the litter is this little chunk here. Now he has got some weight on him as well. And I'm going to let you see that. I know. He's got a little white tip on his tail. He's got white paws and a white chest. Oh, what a shame. Now, if he remains the largest one, I'm going to discount him from my choice. Because it's not the largest of the litter that I'm interested in. in this. I mean, I want them, my pup to be perfectly healthy and everything um, but if I had a choice of the largest one and the smallest one and everything else was perfect I would go for the smaller one so at this stage chunky monkey here will not be in my decision and we have a little toot here who's all chocolate all liver yeah now I don't want to make any major decisions at this stage, but I do like him a lot. And then we have... Mummy's not happy in the background that she's not in here. Then we have this little monkey. He's got a white foot. So they're all easily identifiable because they're all different, even though they're all the same. And then we have this this little boy and he's got white on him as well. White. Yes, I know, mummy's disturbing you, isn't she? So, I am gonna have a decision to make from those four boys. And at this stage, it's far too early to say because my pup needs to be perfectly suitable with breeding potential. And, Based on my early thoughts, I'm looking at the littler one. He's pure liver. Oh, mammy, 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 they're okay. I'm not hurting them. So, if he works out perfect, I mean, he's got to have a perfect bite. He's He's got to have lovely eyes and he's... He's got to have a perfect confirmation and he's also got to have two perfectly healthy testicles descended before I make a decision on him because I made a decision on a pup to keep from the clovers last year and he ended up not having testicles. He had to be castrated at um, nearly a year old. We waited and waited and they just didn't come down and we ended up finding them in his stomach. So obviously he was not suitable breeding potential so on this occasion I must keep the puppy long enough to be certain that he has two perfectly healthy descended testicles and everything else about him is perfectly healthy as well but that's who I've got my eye on so there'll be um, the two abstracts and the one with the one white paw but that's only early decisions, so we'll just carry on and see how we get on. Well, uh, no, matey, let's pop you over to one side so we can have a look at the girly. Lovely markings. Yes, we have. Let me have a look at you. Let me have a look at that beautiful face. Yep. <laughs> Smash him. And so there's the little girly. A little harlequin of chocolate on her back. Oh, mummy is so not happy. I'm going to have to go and let her in. But uh, there we go. Eight days old. Doing really well. Really happy with them.